uh, great win for us. We needed one. Uh, we were in the same position we were in on Saturday with a big halftime lead. And um, all we talked about was you don't, you know, all the time get put in situations where you can get a redo. But to a degree, that's what we got. We were the exact same score almost. And uh, we were able to go out in the second half and, and play really well. So excited we won. Um, you know, and then and now we got quick turnaround for Saturday. Hi, uh, Kevin. Yeah, I thought the three-two zone. What we were trying to do was still get the ball inside, and whether that would be dribble drive or post ups, we really want. We we knew we had an advantage on the blocks, so. Um, to be honest, I wish we would have gotten it to Fitz and Chris even a little more than we did, but we kept talking about it. And just by Chris and Fitz posting as hard as they posted, they were drawing two and three guys. And I mean, some of the threes we had were wide open, and a lot, a lot of it was just created by the physicality that Chris and Fitz played with it on the block. Because um, you're not going to be able to throw it to a guy who's double teamed, but they were having to double team them without the ball because we were engaged physically and really demanding it. So, um, you know, I, I, we, Tyler had a heck of a ball game, uh, but I, I thought Toby was excellent. I thought Jared Fry was really good. Um, and then, you know, both big guys were good. And, and so when you win by 20, usually you don't just have one guy play well. So, I, you know, pretty much down the line of guys that were in, I thought gave us good contributions. Yeah, we did a better job tonight. We're, we're not going to force a ton of turnovers because we just don't have like elite speed on the perimeter. Um, we're more of a contained team on the perimeter. Um, and we would love to force turnovers, and we have to do it with positioning, right? And, um, and honestly, the Wagner game, it was, it was passing and catching. I mean, we just some – some of the turnovers, I mean, you watch them on film, and I, I mean, it was ridiculous. It looked like uh, junior high in the second half. And, um, and, and I thought we did a great job tonight. You know, we finished with, with 11 turnovers, but we got – I mean, look, if we can have 10, 11 turnovers, we're going to be pretty happy with that number. Um, and at halftime, we only had three. So the second half wasn't quite as good, and I thought we did a little bit of playing the scoreboard. I thought we got up, got a big comfortable lead, and then played the scoreboard to a degree, uh, which you know you don't want to do. And we kept talking about, but give them credit; they kept battling. They're well coached, man. They run good motion. He does a good job with them. I actually had never met him until today, but but he's a good coach. They do a good job. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 wish I, I wish I knew the magic elixir, right? We'd, that we'd just be robots and do it every time. I, I thought that we really uh, were committed to playing the second half. And at halftime, guys were talking and saying the right stuff. And then we went out and, you know, we gave up a late shot clock three. But, but we played great defense for 28 seconds, and they just threw one in. But we came down and responded. I think it was Tyler and hit one immediately right back. And, and, and so it was a much better response than the other night where it was give up a layup, turn it over, give up a fast break layup. So, you know, it was a big shot that Tyler hit from a momentum standpoint. Yeah, listen, I mean, every team in America shoots a lot of free throws in practice. You can't simulate game pressure. Um, but going four for 10 on Saturday lost us the game. 16 for 18 tonight wins us the game. I mean, you know, it's sometimes it just boils back down to making free throws. And, um, you know, there's if, if there was um, – there like last year we led the conference in free throw shooting. And um, we didn't do much – there were a lot of things last year we were not very good at, but we were really good at making free throws. So um, hopefully that's something that, you know, tonight gives us a little more confidence moving forward. But you just got to step up and make them. And, um, and, we, and obviously we did that. Yeah, I mean, listen, he, I, I don't have an answer to that. He's day to day, like I said the other day, um, are, are we, you know, it's, it's not weeks. But he has not practiced. He has not done anything with the team uh, since hurting it at Yale. So until he actually can practice, you know, you, you, your day-to-day -day status might as well be 
marked as out for months. So I, it's not going to be long. I, I, you know, am I hoping he plays Saturday? Of course. But we also don't want him out there with a with a sprained ankle where he's going to re-injure it, and all of a sudden now we're looking at something that's weeks on end. Because this one was fortunately somewhat minor, but enough that he's not able to, to cut. So until he can cut, he can't play. No problem. Thank you. Well, I mean, tonight was zone. So when it's zone, you, you know, you don't really have a point guard. I mean, I guess Dean dribbled it across half court. But the reality of um, you're not going to, against zone, dribble it across half court. And I'm going to just make one pass and you're going to make a shot very often. Usually you got to kind of throw it across and move the ball to get the defense swinging. Um, so, I mean, that's an easy answer for tonight. Now, as far as not having a lot of assists against Wagner, um, we shot five for 20 from three, and there's that second part of an assist I throw to you. You have to actually make it for me to get an assist, and we didn't do much of that uh, in the Wagner game. Now, tonight, we made 13 threes, so you're going to have bigger assist totals. And I don't want to take away – I thought Toby was awesome. I said it to the team after the game, and Jared Fry can really pass. So those two guys getting big assist numbers isn't shocking because Jared, in all fairness, Jared is probably our best passer. Now – it's half court and you got to get it to him, but he can read situations because he can post pass and he can see skip passes. He's got size. I mean, he's a 6'5 guard, so he can see over top. But if you keep an eye on him, you'll notice he can throw those like one hand from one wing to the opposite corner, which, I mean, it's the hardest pass. You can talk to NBA GMs. They'll tell you like they don't find guys that make that pass. That's a really hard pass to make. And so, you know, I think just think Jared's an excellent passer. Tonight was because it was solely zone. Um, you know, do I expect that'll be the case on Saturday? Not, not really, but, you know, I mean, let's be honest, too. Dean, Dean is a combo guard. Dean is more of a, a, an off-the-ball player himself who's been thrust into 30-some minutes of point guard with AC uh, over helping me coach. Uh, we need AC to play. Uh, you know, your team fits in a certain way, and AC is a big part of what we do. So we'll get him back soon. Sixteen, eighteen, yeah. Yeah, no, obviously very pleased. I thought the concentration was good, and um, you know, ultimately, you you still got to execute and make it. And um, and and we got a lot of different guys there. Like sometimes, like Fitz is going to make free throws. He's consistently been a good free throw shooter in his career. Some guys on our roster have been mediocre free throw shooters in their career. Some guys have been excellent. It's all over the map, right? And, and sometimes you shoot well or poorly based on who's getting fouled. Tonight we had a ton of different guys go. So that's probably the best part is that it wasn't just we didn't just make free throws tonight because it was only Fitz and Tyler and Dean that went to the foul line. It was a bunch of guys that went to the foul line and they stepped up and made them. Um, it's huge and uh, our coaches really helped prepare, like, prepare me to be able to do that and our team to be able to do that. That was something we really harped on and like we've had drills in practice about you know hitting the guy to go get it and really trying to emphasize that in the film. And um, yeah, just yeah, shout out to the coaches for helping prepare us and giving us a great game plan. And then, you know, just being aggressive and just going to get it, yeah. Yeah, there's talk about kind of the zone that still helped, right? Which kind of limited the opportunity to close it. You still, when you did find an opportunity, you did really capitalize and really show your physicality. So like, how important or like, what led you to try to physicality and really capitalize on the opportunities you found yourself in the closing? Oh, I'm sorry, what led to that? Yeah, I'm sorry. So like, what led you to Yeah, I just got to stay ready. Um, I, a lot of times, like with this zone, it's about stealing the man, so then they kind of help in and try to get the shooters open, or you know, you get seal, you seal, catch it and go up. So um, just like staying ready in preparation from practice, and um, it was a big emphasis going into this game to really seal bodies and uh, not just kind of be in the area, but to really you know be physical. So I tried my best to do that tonight. And Brian, what are your thoughts on like, how to complete performance by yourself? 
Yeah, I'm proud of my teammates. Um, we had really good uh, preparation going into this game. Our uh, practice habits have been good, and we're trying to continue to elevate that every day. And um, I'm excited for us to continue to get better and better. All right. Thanks, guys.